Okay, some of you are probably thinking, what the heck is wrong with my face? But I did one eye of a look, and I'm going to show you guys how I did this look on the other eye. So as you can see, it's just a neutral eye, and um, I think this is really pretty for school. It's a little bit darker than I usually wear for school, but I still think it's wearable. Yeah. Oh, my mascara's still wet. Yeah, so I still think it's really wearable. And I just think it's really cute. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this using only drugstore products. So I'm going to show you guys how I got this look. And you can do it on a budget. So let's get started. Usually for foundation, I use my MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish. But I promised myself that I would stick with the whole drugstore theme. So I just used my Almay Truly Lasting Color Powder Foundation. And I just used a generic drugstore powder brush. Like, you can get these anywhere. <clears throat> so first, you're going to want to use a base. Now, usually I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but since it's not drugstore, I'm just going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to apply this just like I would a liner, just, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover it up with eyeshadow anyways, but just get it close to that area. Now it's going to brighten your eye and it's just going to make it look so much better. Usually I would put a primer below a base. I just think that keeps your eyeshadows from creasing way easier. But if you don't have access to Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I recommend the most, um, there are lots of other drugstore brands that have primers that are very affordable. Now, I don't think they're as good, but um, some good, some decent ones are NYX has a good one, L'Oreal Secrets, I think it's called. That one's pretty good. And there's just, there's other drugstore brands that also have um, primers for eyeshadow. But, anyways... So next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I always like to do this before I apply any um, eyeshadow because then I feel like I smudge it if I do it afterwards. So, I'm just going to curl them. Sometimes I do two curls just because it's, I don't feel like it's enough. So now that I have them all curled, I'm going to start with the base colors. So all of the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using today are from this e.l.f. palette right here. And this was only $3 at Target, so it's very affordable, very easy to find. There are Targets everywhere. And it has six great neutral colors that are very pigmented. I was really surprised. Um, be careful by how much you put on your brush because they do have a little bit of fallout in the pan. Not on your eye, though, so that's good. So I'm just going to take this color right here. Um, it's just like a nude, lightish brown, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And I'm going to try and cover up as much of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil as I can. I don't have another mirror, so I'm sorry, I'm kind of looking into my vanity. So now that I have that color on, um, by the way, the brush that I just used was a Sonia Keshek um, eyeshadow brush, and you can get these at any Target, and I think they're like $5 or something. So basically all the products that I'm going to be using are Target. Then, I'm going to take the next color, which is this color right here. Now this one has gets a lot of fallout, so I'm going to be careful. And this is just a Sonia Keshek crease brush, and I'm going to apply it in my crease. That one was a little bit messier than I would have hoped, but...
Now I'm going to take this darkest color right here and just use a pencil brush, just any generic brush, and I'm going to put it in this little crease, crevice, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to dab it in right there. It's okay if it's messy at first because you're going to blend it all out and to make it look like a dark smoky eye like on this side. So it's going to get better. So I'm going to use a Sony Keshik blending brush. And I'm just going to blend it all out. Because this is going to be a look that is going to turn some heads. Now my camera doesn't pick up on the colors as well as I would like, but it's very bright. It's a very nice look. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can guys can see what it looks like right now. Is that a little bit better? That's what it looks like so far. So next, I'm just going to take, oh, zoom out. I'm going to take this CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. Usually I don't like to use drugstore eyeliners just because I feel they irritate my eyes a little bit more and they just, I just don't like them as much as um, higher end. My favorite is Urban Decay 24-7 liner and I just feel like it's worth the money to but this is my favorite drugstore one. Um, so I'm trying not to tug on my eye, my eye as much when I apply eyeliner just because it's not very healthy. So I can't really um, apply this looking at the camera and trying not to tug. So I'm just going to apply this really fast, but you just apply it like a normal eyeliner. And I'm only going to put it on the top upper lash line right there. So I'm just going to apply this really fast and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I applied liner, and that's what it looks like. It just makes it a little bit prettier. Um, this is only the fourth time I've used this palette, and I'm realizing now that it does have a little bit of fallout. Just a tiny bit, though, so... So just be careful when you apply your eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take CoverGirl's Lash Blast Fusion, and this is in blackest black, I think. And I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes and bottom lashes. Sometimes I have to recurl them, so I'm going to recurl them too. Alright, so this is what the finished eyes look like. And I'm going to zoom in, if it helps at all. And that's what both eyes look like. And I just think it's a really nice look. I also think that you could do brown eyeliner as well. I think that would look really pretty also. Now for drugstore blushes and highlighters, um, I normally don't use a lot of drugstore products, but I'm trying to just for you guys because I know a lot of people don't have access to like a Sephora or MAC or, you know, higher end cosmetic brands. So I'm just going to take a generic blush brush, blush brush, that's a funny word. And this is from just Walmart, just their brand or whatever. And I'm going to take this Hard Candy Baked Blush in Honeymoon. It looks like this. It's just a light baby pink. And I'm just going to swirl it around on here and then just apply it to the apples of my cheeks and a little bit up onto my bone right here. You want it to go all the way up to make it look bright. Now
Now, just for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to take this Sonia Keshek um, Mineralized Blush. And this is in the color Angelica. And this blush is the lightest one. They have two. <clears throat> they have Angelica and then they have Fairy Dust, I think it is. And that one is a little bit darker. And I wish I would have gotten this that one because this one is so light, I can only use it as a highlighter just because it's it's just too light for me. So I'm going to take this same blush brush, uh, no need to clean it, take a little bit of this powder and just add it as a nice highlight on my cheekbones. Highlighting is something that I've been really into lately and not, a lot of drugstore brands aren't really into doing that. They, they just don't find it necessary to highlight, but I like to buy highlighters so I still like to use them. So now for lips, I'm just going to use my EOS Lip Balm and this is in Lemon Drop. I'm just going to apply this all over. And now I'm going to take this Revlon Lip Gloss and this is in the color Peach Petal. And I'm just going to apply this on my lips. So this is what the finished look looks like. Wow, I should have gone in the light over here. Look how good the light is here. So these are the eyes. That's my lips. And if you wanted to do um, liner on the bottom liner, that's where I like to use gel liner. So I would have used um, Maybelline's Eye Studio. That's what I would have used on the bottom. Yeah, so overall, I think it's a really nice look and it's good for school. I just really like it, so tell me what you guys think about it in the down bar. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.